In this video, I am going to show you how to write exponents in Google Docs. Typing exponents in Google Docs is relatively easy to do. However, if you have never done it before, you may be confused at first. There are a number of ways to write exponents in your file, and I'm going to show you three different ways in this video. So the first way is just using the equation feature in Google Docs. So what you want to do is you want to open your Google Doc and you want to select where you want the exponent to appear. So I've selected this spot just at the top of my page but if you have a specific spot in your file where you want to type the exponent just enter there and then what you want to do is go to the top menu and select insert and then equation and then what you can do is you can type your first number and then when you want to add an exponent what you do is you have to type the exponent operator on your keyboard so on my keyboard it is shift and then six and then you can see that it raised up to this exponent spot and then I can type whatever number I want here and then when I press enter twice, it will exit the equation feature and I will now have an exponent in my file. So that is the first method. The second method is going to be using superscript. So what you will do with this method is first you will type the number that you want to be an exponent in your file. So I'm going to do um, the same exact number I had previously where it's 2 to the power of 2 or 2 squared. And so what I'm going to do is type 22 because the second one I'm going to change into an exponent by using superscript. So what you want to do is type your numbers and then you highlight the one that you want to change to an exponent. And then what you will do is come up to format, text, superscript. And you can see that one just changed to an exponent. Now the last way I'm going to show is using a keyboard shortcut. So there's a keyboard shortcut for superscript. So if I come back to the superscript, you can see it's control and the period symbol. So what I can do is two, and then I'm going to press control and the period symbol. And you can see whenever I press control and period it's going to enter that superscript mode where I can type superscript so that is my exponent and then when you want to exit superscript mode you press control and period again so those are three different options for typing exponents in your file whether you want to type exponents to create equations uh, raise things to powers or you're looking to just add squared to your document. Um, those are a few different methods that will accomplish that. Now, if you're new to using these, I always recommend that you try all of the methods until you figure out which one works best for you. In my opinion, the keyboard shortcut, if you can memorize that one, is the fastest method. Um, it's the one I use the most if I'm trying to type exponents. But that's it for this video. So as always, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.